What's up, y'all? Welcome to day 432, making song prayer! Oh! Yeah! Anyways, what's going on? Today I'm working on the Shift Dungeon. And by the way, this is my last stream for the next two weeks. I got a vacation coming up, so I'm going to Burning Man, and I will not be streaming. Can't stream at Burning Man! What's up, Boogie? What's up, Boogie? Check us out, Boogie. What's up, Steve? I know, it's two whole weeks. Yeah, so next week I'll be at Burning Man. This whole weekend I'll be preparing for Burning Man. And then coming back from Burning Man, I'll be coming back from Burning Man and like... Gathering my senses and handling all the kind of stuff, unpacking and stuff like that. So it's gonna be about two weeks of vacation for me. Thank God, I need a vacation like crazy bad. I've worked like seven days a week on this game for this whole year, last whole year. So this is the lightning boss. I'm really excited to have this, some of the sound effects finished and stuff. How you guys doing? actually beat this boss yet so let's see if this, can, this is possible. Yeah. This is a pretty fun boss fight. Oh! Okay, one more try. Nice, right on. I'm glad you think it's fun already. I think it's gonna get a lot more fun um, as it gets finished and as the story gets complete and as the secrets get all even more dialed in. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you played again. And I saw your- oh shit. Okay, one more time. <laughs> one more time, I swear, this guy is impossible to beat. The girl, this is, a, this is a female boss. Nice, yeah, the dialogue and all that. There'll be a lot more of that. There's a lot of missing dialogue so far. What's up, Harboiled? Dude! Mustache guy? No, this is the boss right here, Lightning Boss. But Mustache guy is gonna be part of the plot. Like, he, he like says, hey, dude, you guys should go check out the lower levels of the dungeon. I mean, the ship. The Droid Smith, yeah! Maybe I got the idea all wrong here. Maybe it should be the, dro the Droid Smith. What's up, Keenan? Welcome. Isn't it? It's fun. It's fun for you guys to say that too, but it's also fun for me. I'm like, wow, this game is so much better than it was last time I played it. Each one of these bosses is really adding a lot of character. Sure. Oh, no way! I died! 
died. There's some kind of situation where you get you just die in one hit. I think it's when I land when I land on the the super bomb. Yeah, right. Progress? Yes! Oh, damn it! This guy is too hard. Alright, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to work here. You don't know how to get the big brown pokey things through? The big brown pokey things? Oh, how to get the big brown pokey things. What you talking about, big brown pokey things? Hardball, you're playing Ratchet and Crank? Right on. Clank. Just use God Mode to beat him. What's up, Salad Dogs? Oh, they're blocking a door? Yeah, take a screenshot. I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about there. Um, so what's I'm, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna work on um, foes that go inside this dungeon. So we go to the beginning of this dungeon first. Wait a minute. First of all, let's turn the world. Oh, by the way, while you're all are here, I just wanted to mention I'm going to be on vacation the next two weeks. I'm going to Burning Man. Lots of stuff to do to prepare for it. Stuff like that. So the next live stream is going to be not this next Thursday, but the Thursday after that. So take a nice, healthy vacation. How you been, Hardboiled? What's going on, man? Here we are. There shouldn't be any of these though. No skeletons. No skeletons on the ship. Nobody's just died and stayed here. So area patterns. Same old, same old. Right, huh? What's up, Pedro? Oh, those. Oh, okay. Do you want me to tell you, Boogie? I can tell you. But I'm just making sure that you want me to tell you for sure before I do. Tell you if you need to go to another dungeon first. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure because I'm not sure whether you have that item yet. It's an item. Let me get. Uh, let me give you another hint too. It's an item you need to craft. OK, 
Okay, so the first thing I want to do is work on the foes that go inside the ship dungeon here. Everything that's in here is basically warping here or is left here by the lightning boss. Not the killer bomb, no. Hmm. Okay. Um, you may be able to find your way around that gate. Like there might be secrets you could get through walls if you if you haven't maybe if you're trying to beat the game like on crazy low items, you could probably find a secret wall around that. There's a couple kinds of secret walls, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, so I'm putting up these enemies. Where are they at? Um, ship. Raz mini boss. Oh, here they are. Okay, these are going to be ship dungeon enemies. So instead of the Raz mini boss, I want to do Raz. Maybe Raz 2. I'll we'll call them Raz warp because they warp in. That's <laughs> right. What's up, Teak? Aloha. Teak, how's it going, man? How's the how's the um, green light going? Hmm. So blob, where are these little blobs at? Blob zero. Well, that's Z zero. I guess it could be this one. Nice. Oh, stagnating. Oh, man. Dang. What's your percentage at? Fifteen? Oh, okay. Sounds like you need to drum up some interest. Start, you know. Style car. Eight. Call this ship. Ship two. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new enemy called Roz Warp, which is a copy. Roz Warp. All right. Now the Roz Warp. It's kind of like the Roz mini boss. HP nine. Guess so. No idea how to reach out. There you go. Yeah, you're re reaching out is just all about like communicating. You know. Is it 19% now? Right on. 
What's up, Panko? Yeah, I mean, how do you, how do you reach out to people about your video game? Like, t putting a, f a post on Tig Source is a great way to start. Um, I would post this a screenshot like every day, you know, on Twitter at least too. Like, um, there's so many places where you can post stuff, you know, and that way you can start building a following. You could do it on. You could do something on. Um, Tumblr as well, but Twitter Twitter is a really really good one. I would definitely recommend starting to like share your game on Twitter a lot, you know, like at least once a day. Try and try and do something on Twitter, even if it's maybe maybe sometimes you don't even share about your game. Sometimes you can just retweet about other people. But the thing is, you really do want to post about your own game um, often. That way. You know, you're growing, right? The, the whole sense of, of trying to make people aware about your game is that you want to have some kind of sense of growth to it, right? So you're going to start out sharing things on TigSource and on Twitter and places like that. And there's not going to be many people interested. There's not going to be that many people that reply to your thread. Um, and even now, with Songbringer as mature as it is now, like there's still times when I'll post something on like TigSource, for example, and no one replies. Um, and the same thing with Twitter, you know, like sometimes you don't have a lot of interest. Sometimes you do have a lot of interest. Sometimes you get lucky. So the thing is, you want to find some way that you're kind of growing your the awareness about your video game every day somehow. You hate so public media, social media? Yeah, well, I mean, you could always do traditional media and you could advertise. Um... You know, you could just like, yeah, if you have the money, you can just pay for ads. But if you want free advertising, you got to you got to probably hop on social media. Or I mean, I guess there's other ways of doing it too. You could just go go out on the streets. You could start doing like um game development events around your around your area. You'll never create a Facebook page, all right? I hear you. I don't. I don't really like Facebook either, but I have to have a Facebook page because that's like that's another one that's actually. It started off with Facebook. Like I would post things on Facebook, nobody would reply. Yeah, and because Facebook works works with an algorithm. That's what sucks about Facebook. Like you post something on Facebook. And if it doesn't meet the requirements of their algorithm, dude, your your Facebook post is gonna get shit. Nothing. No one's gonna no one's gonna reply. But it took it took like a year or whatever. But all of a sudden, I started all of a sudden my freaking Facebook post started finally like gaining tons of traction because somehow it's now in their algorithm or something like that. I don't know what happened, but yeah, Facebook's a hard one to like. But um, Twitter is much easier. Twitter is way easier because um, the way Twitter works is the people that follow you have chosen to follow you. It's not like you go on Twitter and um, you see stuff that that Twitter thinks is part of thinks you would like. It's, it doesn't include enough kittens, right? Yeah, exactly. Twitter is is more genuine because whoever you follow, you always see their posts instantly. Like if I go post something on Twitter right now, I I anyone that's looking at their Twitter feed and is following me will see that instantly in their Twitter feed. But it's not so on Facebook. Facebook, you you post something and maybe people will see it. Maybe people will see it a day later. Maybe people will see it two days later. Maybe people will never see it. So I don't understand Facebook. I don't really like Facebook either, but it's a total necessity as a game developer. My my opinion is it's a it's a necessity. You gotta have a Facebook page. Because there's some people that communicate this way, some people communicate that way, you know? Some people prefer to to communicate on Twitter or check Twitter. Some people prefer to do it on Facebook. What's up, Voice of Grog? Yo! Alright, so I'm getting this uh, this new Roz enemy that warps in, so it can feel like it fits on this ship here. So 
So we don't want to do a mini boss loop. It still has the shield. No more mini boss. Don't kill any of your friends. Is this a boss? Is there a remove here? Remove? No, there's no remove. Okay. And now I want it to warp in. So it's going to start invisible. And then it's going to teleport in. Roz, teleport in. This guy is going to be in shadow. I think Roz, tell oh, okay, so teleport in zero. There's nothing empty. Okay, we need one more frame. Sprites. Roz. Yeah, you found a secret room? Did you find a way around? Way to go. I'm going to do one frame of this animation where there is nothing at all. Blank frame. There we go. And that's going to go not in bosses, but in shadow. Okay, so his regular idol is now going to be idol visible, and then the first idol, or the yeah, the default is going to be Roz teleport in zero. Okay, so he starts off teleport in zero, which is an empty frame. And then right at the beginning, he'll have an initial sequence. Um, timer begin. Um, this is where he plays his anime, where he teleports in. Where do we teleport in at? Oh, I think this is something where that was manually done. Yeah, okay, so this is going to animate. Animate teleport in. Yeah. And delay animate. And then set a timer of something so it doesn't do that again. I guess we could target the nearest friend too. Wait, actually, we'll go to target none. Yeah, that's fine. Shield up, shield down, charge, target any. Oh, this is where he goes and runs real fast. Okay, I need to look at where everything else where he would set his skin as well. Skin damage, that's it? Well, we want to do skin visible here. So delay, anime teleport. Skin visible, then he eventually gets skin damaged. Okay, I think that should work. So I've got a, a faux style, three of these Roz warps. Let's go find a few of these guys and fight them, see if they warp in. Nice. 
happens where this guy gets... Oh, because he has boss explosion. That's what it is. That's what makes him... Yeah, okay. I want him to be an, a regular foe. And we need to play this teleport sound. Where the hell is that? Teleport in. Nice. So yeah, the ship has come and become infected with enemies, and they're all warping in here. I don't want there to be any locked doors like this. Gotta work on that. But I love these tunnels. Man, tunnels are so cool. Oh, this is not a tunnel, this is a gate. Whoa. You can teleport so far. Okay, so this is going to lead back to Songbringer. Here, this is going to be like a teleporting landing pad. So this is where you teleport to. And then over here is where you get the cup. I think this is where people are going to be hanging out. So this is where the, those NPCs will be. And the second you, tell, you come into the, here, you get the cup from them. And then later on, you can come back and get, and get them to say, hey... We something weird's going on with the engines. Something's going on in the engine room or something like that. And that gives you access to this door over here to go inside the ship dungeon. Basically, you're going down into the engines of Songbringer and you find the lightning boss. So I got to fix this to make the the droid smith look like he used to. But I think he still functions. Let's see if the, he's cool to craft items and stuff. Yeah, you can still craft items. Just gotta fix up the, the visuals in this area. Uh the party room I haven't I haven't been able to work on yet. That's going to be, um, the party room is going to be over here now. So this is where you'll find all these NPCs hanging out. And I'm thinking there'll be some kind of DJ booth or something like that. Maybe some drums, some other musical equipment in here. So this is kind of the party room now. And then this is going to be the teleport landing pad here. And I'm not sure what this will be down here on this, this bottom room. Maybe it'll be like sleeping quarters or a kitchen. Or something like that. Something spaceshipy. Alright. Okay, the next enemy type I want to do is. Um, a precursor to the lightning boss. So the lightning boss, you can actually encounter it. Encounter the lightning boss um, many times. But the first, as you're encountering him throughout the dungeon, he's or she's um, she's not as difficult. Of course, she's just like a regular enemy. But you fight her a little bit, and then she she runs away. So let's do one lightning boss. Uh, we'll call it the lightning boss easy. We 
Okay, so lightning boss, easy. Okay, not a boss. Vector movement, okay, not this much health. Maybe like, so how much health do I wanted to, probably something like, How much, how many hit points do these guys have? Yeah, nine. Okay, so if she had like, yeah, 21 sounds pretty good. So I'm thinking like you beat, you get this, this lightning boss easy halfway down in health. And, um, actually let's make it really, really like this. So. She has 40 hit points, and if you get her down to 75% health, that's when she's, she's... This time it's the pillars with the glowing blue things that are blocking the doors. Oh, yeah, that's... You, you know what that is, right? That's also an item you have you haven't gotten yet. So, no explosion. All right, so this is gonna be important to work on our AI a little bit to get this, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you which item? This is an easier item. Very fundamental. Okay, so initially, what happens? You encounter this boss, it starts off Invisible. That's the, it's the ghost sword. It's the ghost sword, man. Also a situation where you may be able to find a secret path around using bombs or the, just the, the secret walkable paths, but maybe not. There may be that, it may be that that world, that dungeon is not possible without having at least like one of those items get past something. All right, so we got if timer begin, category none, visible zero, no sound roar, no delay. Well, we could do a little delay, maybe two seconds, mode 88, and then skin visible, target here go, no need to start up the music, no ambience. Target hero timer zero, mode zero. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's kind of random whether there is or not yet at this point. Eventually, I'm, I might make it so that so that it kind of guarantee like it, yeah, I could make it so it guarantees that there are secret paths through some of the later dungeons. I think I'd like to do that because I'd like for most worlds to be completable backwards and completely in reverse order without having to do any glitches. Like you could actually beat every boss in reverse. Oh, it's blocking the boss room? Oh. Huh. Yeah, it might be. Okay, attack. Stop attack and update attack, all those are good. But we don't want the sequence spiral, but this can be, I think I'm gonna make the sequence lightning, lightning strikes, no bomb. But it still can disappear and reappear and bounce. Okay, oh, and then also, most important here, if HP is less than 0 0.75, remove. So as soon as you get it down to three quarters of its health or, or less, it just automatically removes itself. 
we probably should animate. So animate, animate release. No, it should animate disappear. Oh no, you just found you just find it. There's no crafting. Yeah. You just pick up the ghost sword, it's ready to go. So animate release and then delay and then remove. So this thing needs a mode nine. Delay animate. Oh, this is should be um disappear. Yeah, and vector none. So and then sequence this is remove. If mode nine, remove. Okay, so if your health is less than 75%, set category none, make the sound disappear, animate to disappear, delay for that animation, set your vector to none. Set mode nine, and then once you're done, you're not stop your delay, remove self. Okay, let's try that out. So we gotta go find this lightning boss easy, and then kill the lightning boss easy. crazy. It's not attacking me. Come on, lightning boss. Sounds creepy. Nice. Right on. I think it's a little bit too loud. It's perfect for when the lighting boss is, um, is in the boss room because there's so much noise and all this stuff going on, but there it was a little bit too loud. Reappear. So what? Why isn't it doing any attack? I'll well, take away that. Oh, it has to have target any. Well, it has target any. And this should be less than 875. Okay, let's try that. All right, hard boil. Good night, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Aka Sour, that's I'm doing that to comment out that entire sequence. So when I put a semicolon before something, it just means that it's commented. Spear zero, overridable, delay animate. Oh, if mode is not nine. Uh. 
All right, Echo Sour. Oh, dude, you got your behavior cheese working? Nice. Yeah, Boogie, dude, that's awesome. I called remove. And remove kills. Yeah, I think it's I think it's killing itself. So this is a situation I've never dealt with before where I wanted to, an enemy to disappear to remove itself without dying. So, AI system remove, behavior remove. Oh, oh, check this out. So if an entity does not have a health component, it can't use the change HP. So I could actually remove its health component. And then delete the entity. But this would have to be after the tick. Okay, so that, yeah, I could remove here. Remove health and then mode nine just removes. That should work. Hopefully, gotta cross my fingers. Actually, let's make some sounds that are a little bit a little bit weaker too. This was lightning boss appear and disappear. Start with negative three. It's still pretty loud. What's up, man? Thanks for thanks for following. Okay, so now I got a set of bees there that aren't quite as loud, which should be a lot more friendly for. Your day-to-day -day lightning boss. 
your everyday lightning boss. So you're just a counter in your ship, messing with the engines. Invalid behavior if HP. What? Oh, because it said hit points are damn. Okay, so its hit points got lower, but then it's like. Oh, should we do not if mode 9 first? Okay, that'll, that'll protect that bit of code, a bit of scripting. Right? What are you doing, man? Are you adding stuff to your scripting language? Sources. Cool, man. Right on. Okay, I think he's gone. <laughs> Is he gone? I think he's gone. So he was getting, um, he was moving on to the edge boundaries, which. I think he wants should have a ma move mask of exit, so he can't walk on exit components. I think it, maybe he needs a bigger, a faster speed. to be able to be hit while he's invinci or invisible. So I'll take away his mask. And then when he goes, when he initially, when he appears, Collision mask. I need to find out how to do this again. There it is. Mask collision, blah, blah, blah. Or unmask collision, blah, blah, blah. All right, so when he reappears, he can suddenly be hit by all these things. And then when he disappears, he can no longer be hit by those things. to move a little faster now and also the lightning boss should also have that let's try 150 maybe a little less excel too
done. All right. What's this thing? The boss comes back. Because he didn't die. I guess that makes sense, right? If he doesn't die, he should come back. What's up, Akuma? High five, man. How's it been? So I'll go frequency, maybe 0.5. Spawn a lightning foe. Anime melee mode one. Level six was no help. Damn it. Yeah, the game's not quite ready to be played backwards or or like in fast forward. Yeah, there's two upgrades for the blink orb. Stressful and mildly and blessing. Oh man. Sorry to hear that, man. So where did it spawn rock? Okay, spawn rock, rand, rand. That's what I want to do. Spawn lightning foe, rand, rand. It's like four random pieces of lightning. Yeah, oh, this is just how you found it, all right. I like that. I love that challenge though, right? It's like, I want to go to like maybe dungeon one and then dungeon nine. See if I can beat dungeon nine right after that. So I want the game to be able to be played that way. That was so not random. Nice. Kickstarter has three days left. Ah. Uh. Dang, man.
got the treasure seeker achievement. Nice. I'm glad that one worked. Oh, Akuma, please share the link. Yes, absolutely. You never have to ask that. Okay, this is pretty good. We've got three different enemies. This really isn't meant to have too many enemies, anyways. Dude, he'll get you. The guy's tough. <laughs> Okay, it's a pretty good start. But the lightning boss also needs this stuff going on mask and unmask. So disappear, done. Unmask. And then reappear. Remask. Okay, let's check that out. Nice, you gained another programmer. All right, cool, man. What about that, uh, did you check out that article I shared with you? Base drop needs more base. I took out some base actually of it. I was like, this is too basey. I'll put I'll add some more back in. Dude, I think this guy might be impossible. Unless we have the chip. Oh, that would make the chip so valuable. Yeah, okay. I think 
that gives me more confidence that he's at the right about at about the right level of uh difficulty. That was pretty damn difficult to defeat. And I think um a flask is almost a necessity to beat that guy. But you and also the ch the glove is also a necessity and probably the chip too. Bodacious, man. Bodacious. Yes, I'm proud of this guy. I'm really liking this guy. Such a cool boss. And this is where you get the killer bombs. Well, there's two other places you can get the killer bombs, but this is the main. This is the not secret place where you would get the. You would normally get the killer bombs, and then you can unlock Bell. Okay, so let's check this in so far. You got the kill bombs? You you already got them? Oh, the version you have it doesn't you don't get them in this place. You get them somewhere else. You get them in level 8. That's right. You already got the kill bombs, dude. Good job, man. So we got a few ship styles. I don't want to check this one thing in here. World. The entrance stairs. It kind of messes everything else up, so I'm going to comment that out for now. All right. Bows for ship dungeon. Okay, one thing I want the um the foe. Okay, yeah, these guys. You should never have too many of these lightning bosses that was laying around the ship. Too many. So like, maybe there should be max of three of them. Probably the same thing with all of these. Max three. Let's see if that changes anything. Yeah, I'm just somewhere randomly, you yeah. know? Oh yeah, I totally changed this whole dungeon. Oh, it changed it because I changed this the entrance type. Okay, let's go back to that entrance type. to a secret area. That's cool. Wow. 
Ah, oh, with another secret here. All right. I've never seen the door like look like that before. The secrets have secret they do. This is um this is going to be more and more of a thing. I want to I want to actually have whole secret sections, right? Where you have to somehow use some kind of secret thing to get into a whole section of a dungeon where there's tons of secret stuff. That vision eventually will be a reality. This dungeon's a little too sparse without with only three. Okay, that was good. Well, there's only three of those lightning boss guys, but we need more of the other kind of guys. So Roz Warp, let's do maybe. Do five and five. Okay, there definitely needs to be more kinds of enemies, but I think this is a good start to kind of get the aesthetic going for this dungeon. Okay, now I'm gonna figure out why the entrance stairs changes the entire world. So when I go and change um, this ship dungeon to use entrance stairs flag for some reason it changes the entire world. Oh, I bet you it has to do with the way the order in which the world the levels are being created. Okay, it's got to be in world where it creates the different Z levels. So yeah, it creates nine dungeons and dungeon number nine is the ship. Yeah, so that kind of makes sense why it would do that. Hmm. It's going to be tricky because, okay, so now I'm going to have to restructure everything. The way that the dungeons are now, there's nine different dungeons on the overworld, and then there's supposed to be this tenth dungeon, which is the ship. So I think I'm just going to make the 10th dungeon the 10th dungeon and the rest of the overworld dungeons. So the thing is, if I do that, it's going to make it so the 10th dungeon, like it needs to have extra Z levels too. I could just go negative 50, negative 51, negative 52, negative 53. Yeah, that'll be a way to do this. 
There'll be a way to do this. I'll be right back though, guys. Be right back. Nice, man. Nice. Okay, I think I'm going to hold off on doing this just yet. This part of it's going to be tricky. So I'm going to start with the artwork and stuff. Nice. Buy the game, early access. Alpha funding. Okay, we'll start with this. The 
Droy Smith. Oh, there it is. Create Smith tile. Okay, this is where it creates the being Smith item holders. So we need to create one more thing in here, and that's going to be the background and all that that holds the. Maybe I already have that. Songbringer. Okay, the Droid Smith does have an integrated backgroundy thing. Okay, so the Droid Smith, I need to rework that piece of art. Okay, so instead of this having a background, even the room's going to go away. Maybe just part of the room should go away. <laughs> We still want the apparatus thing. We still want the the oh this bit here needs to change. Yeah, right, remember this? I just gotta take away this background bit so I can... <laughs> Brad, what's up? <laughs> it shows empty ping file. What's up, man? So I gotta divide this into two layers. I know, it was so long ago. Duplicate, duplicate layer. How do you say GIF? I say GIF. What about you? What do you say? GIF or GIF? Or GIF? GIF? If you say JIB. <laughs> you say GIF? Yeah. Well, it's graphical. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> you 
You say GIF because the G stands for graphics. It's not graphical, it's graphical. <laughs> hey, don't even get me started on Ludum Dare. How do you say how do you say Ludum Dare? It's funny to say how do you say something and then you say it right. Ludum dare. Ludum dare? Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Um, I want to, in this layer, I want to only have that. Whoops. You say it the right way? Gradient, gradient. I know this one. I know this one. <laughs> yeah, if anybody's just following the stream, you're like, what, what, the, what the hell are you talking about? I used to say gradient, gradient, and it was, we had this whole long conversation about how, how that was so wrong. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, I said gradient right. Again, this is like the, many times I've said gradient right. <laughs> Schiffart, what's Schiffart? Schiffart? Is that like, that's like, it's like a long fart. Schfart. Schferti. How do you pronounce GNU? I pronounce it GNU. How do you guys pronounce it? That's a good question. How the hell do you actually say... Oh, Salad Dog says GNU as well. Uh, you don't pronounce it? <laughs> Just, nope, don't even pronounce that one. Gooey? I say gooey as well. Yes, GNU. Hey, did you guys know it's Linux's birthday? I think it's today. Gooey? I say gooey. Brad says gooey. Is it really gooey? <laughs> Maybe it's Jewy. All right, this can go in its own group. And then 
the rest of this stuff, except for the apparatus. Oh, and maybe the glow. Oh no, the glow stays there. Glow shadow stays there. The apparatus goes down here, and then this whole thing, this group. Oh, it's not gooey. <laughs> yeah, Uber is, yeah. But you can if you're talking about the company, right? Because the company doesn't, the company Uber does not care. Okay, we got every, there's like one random pixel here. What the hell is that? Oh, it's on that layer. Is that really how you do it? You just take away a, add an E? Oh, so it is an E. That's the correct way of doing it, huh? All right, this should be, what a need. All right, render that as the droid smith. This is the new droid smith will look like this. We'll call this the droid smith room though. Droid smith apparatus, how about that? And we'll put it in backgrounds. Ah, yeah, and pedantic. That's true, right? We've kind of bastardized it and made it our own word. Same thing with foo. F-U, foo, does not actually mean what you think it means. Like kung fu. Kung fu means achievement of man. Fu is essentially the word for man and a lot of other things in Chinese. But foo, I always thought wizard foo meant like strength or foo, I thought foo meant strength or something like that but no it doesn't or skill but the, the skill part is the kung or the gung the foo is another bastardized word in English all right we're gonna need another little entity I really shouldn't be doing it this way but, uh, well, <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, right. We've got a lot of German words that are like that, don't we? Uh, what's another one? Kindergarten. Um, I think there's more. Can we give? <laughs> Troy Smith apparatus doesn't look like it worked. Is it just missing? I don't know if it updated. Oh no, it's not even there. What the hell? There it goes. And then the positions probably needs to be just zero, zero. It is. Four different languages, at least. A 
Lolcat's an awesome language. That's what we should all just switch to. You know, we don't need English, we don't need German. All we need is Lolcat. Oh, I see it. It's over there. It's like halfway up. I don't know why it's all weird like that, but I think this needs to be 120 at least. Wait, 420, 240. This needs to be 240. Dudin? What's Dudin? Or Dudin? I did do it today in the toilet. <laughs> it's a book with all official words. Oh, yeah. That's our dictionary. This needs to be exported like this. What's this? 120, 152, yeah. Nice and tidy like that. Backgrounds. Wait, what? what? That didn't work. You got a compiler demo? Odin? Nice, really. Let me check it out. Oh, so it's just wherever, whichever side of the the pointer that you put the the hat on. Uh huh. Oh, that's nice. Wait, oh, this is a ruby. I think I'm in the wrong place. So the Odin project is not the Odin language. What? Crossbow attack? Yeah, this is ruby. Okay. I'm not a web developer. Oh, there's no website for it yet? I think this might be it. Is this the guy? Yeah, Ginger Bill, cool.
So he started talking about this in July of this year. So it's probably the project's not too uh, mature yet. It's compiled originally just cross compiled to C, which is cool. But at some point he switched to having it spit out Clang's intermediate representation. Really? I didn't know Clang could do that. Or I didn't know Clang did that. Oh, check it out. Jonathan Blow's chiping in. He's always like this. Let me explain this to you. To you lower beings. <laughs> That's the feeling I always get whenever I, whenever Jonathan Blow says something. You lower beings. Let me explain some things to you. Yeah, I don't think he does either. I don't think he does either. I don't think he's aware. I don't think he's aware that he comes across that way. Or maybe he is. Maybe he's totally aware. And he's just like, ah, there's nothing I can really do about that. Because he has, you know, he's he's clearly has a lot of great points. You know, and he's a great developer. I just kind of think he gets, he thinks of himself as a kind of an elite You probably right. How does he always know too that people are talking about him? He's he probably has some magical sense. Well, you know what, Jonathan, if you're listening, I think you're a cool guy. But you know, all I'm saying is sometimes you come across this way that you seem like you're smarter than people, and you probably are. You probably are smarter than people, but you don't have to make us feel like that. Unless you want to, in that case, that's your own prerogative. Okay, cool. Well, anyways, this looks like it could be something to watch. Odin. You're right. All right, so we want to push this back up a little bit. Why is it colored all weird? Something's coloring it weird. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is, it looks neat. What's up, Jonah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you the bus. So I'm working on the actual the this changing Songbringer a little bit so that uh the ship dungeon looks a little bit more updated and can and can be more flexible too so it can change and be like have walls like this section right here. But anyways, so you call you crawl into here. This is wrong because I changed the entrance type. Let's go straight up to there. Let's see if I can beat him two times in a row. This time I'll beat him without cheating. <laughs> if I beat him. Oh, there were five of them that time? Did I change the quantities there wrong? Hold on a second. Foes. 
Oh, this is supposed to be Roz Warp 3, Max 5. Okay. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm not gonna cheat. I promise. That's a lightning boss. So yeah, I'm working on uh, kind of like spiffying up the Songbringer part of the world right now. And by the way, Jonah, I'm going to be on vacation next week at Burning Man. So I'm not going to be streaming. So don't worry if you don't see me streaming. I will be back the, the next week. So it'll be like the first week of September or something like that. Or second week of September or something like that. Okay, we want to go back to one to negative fifty. Why is she on Songbringer? She sneaks onto Songbringer and starts wreaking havoc. So that's why she's. is the way she is. Okay, I'm gonna start doing this the right way. This should be data. Yes, yes, uh, exactly. That is, that is the general rule, Teak, but like, for the, the last bosses of the whole game, I think they should be a little bit higher in their difficulty. Yeah, thanks, Jonah. We check out this Bohemian Rhapsody. Or sir, life.real, life.fantasy. Nice. Someone let the front door open again. Okay, gotta start doing this the right way. 
in data. Oh, that's how she got, oh, oh, I get it now. So we let the front door open. Close the freaking door. You're letting lightning bosses inside. Jeez. Turns out she's Rock's mother. Man, if only Star Wars hadn't have done that. I've thought about it. It ends up being a shocking revelation. I got that one. Very punny, very punny. Okay, we're gonna start with this some data here to do this without coding. So we're gonna create an auto entity given name droid smith and this thing's position okay so we should still have this piece of art here the droid smith apparatus rock i am your mother well why are you trying to kill me mom why are you trying to destroy my ship good okay the art's still here and yay the color's not all weird i don't know why that color was weird on the other one Oh, yeah, Darth and Luke, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, not the mom, just the relationship between them. Position negative 20. Okay, so it needs to be positive 40 or so. Maybe 60. Maybe we'll do that in tiles. Five tiles. Yeah, that was too many. Okay, so maybe more like two tiles. Three tiles. Closer. So yeah, it's only like one tile. Maybe negative one tile. Okay, so that one tile is too many, maybe half a tile, and then one and a half tiles. Okay, it's almost right, except for the X, which is just wrong. Half a tile is tw well, twin. So maybe that should be like negative five. Oh, oh, I know what it is. Oh yeah, negative five made it perfect. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Oh, check it out, the background's still there underneath the sky stuff. Okay, so let's try this out, make sure this all looks good. Let's put some real walls here too.
It's not really showing enough. But it looks kind of cool. Maybe the top part could have walls and then the bottom part could have some sky. So like if XD is less than or equal to five and Y is less than H2, that would be sky. That would be wall. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Except for that. Just walk onto the sky here. Yeah, this looks good. This is looking really good. I think it looks better than the old. Oh, why are there flames on those light pillars? Oh man. Oh, this pattern. Okay, I liked it this other way. Five was a good number here. Okay, I gotta start organizing these too. Pattern Smith needs to become its own um, level pattern thing. This is a way old school way of doing it with using functions, which which sucks because then I gotta pollute the the header file with tons and tons of functions everywhere. It's better to just do everything in one CPP file. Okay, first of all, go back to. This and create the droids, finish creating this droid smith entity. Thank you. 
Okay, so all these need to become data. These are just two entities, which are the places where you put down your items when you want to craft stuff. So these, this will become one entity here. This will become an entity. And these are just properties of the entity. So I'm going to comment out one of these. Put it back to position. This is going to be like negative zero, one, two, I think negative three blocks. And this is also maybe like negative three blocks. Render image. Light zero. Scale zero point two five. Additive. We'll do some particles. Oh, it needs a name. Cool. Okay, we do have the we have this light thing here. It just needs to be. It doesn't even really need to be flip Y. But it needs to be a little less. A little farther down, a little farther to the right. Almost a couple more pixels to the left, a couple more pixels down. Oh, it needs to be flip Y too. So, pixels to the left that means two and a half blocks is 20, 40, 50, and a few more would be like negative 54, maybe. This is three and a half blocks down, which was 36. Plus six, 42, so maybe like negative 45. I want to do a flip Y render component. I'm going to add a little keyword to the render component so you can load this from data. So just you can flip a sprite using data only. Where's flip X? And there it is.
you go to, all right, man. Good night. See you, Tink. Oh, sweet, dude. I forgot about Ludum Dare. Nice. There we go, we got Flip X. He goes and grabs the Flip X from, from whatever render data it has. Checks if it's not null, and the string size is one. Then it can set Flip X, because the string size might be Rand or whatever, and then that, in that case, we would not want to Flip X. Okay, and then the same thing for flip Y. Flip X, flip X, flip X, flip X, flip X, flip X, flip Y, flip Y, flip Y, flip Y, flip Y, flip Y. All right. Dang, we're already two hours. Whoa, thanks for the reminder, Bafu. All right, so that should make it so we can do flip Y. Flip Y one. I should check on some other things too to make sure that their other flip X's work. I think one of them is the ice boss. Render flip X one, yeah. So let's make sure the ice boss still works. Ice boss, that's gonna be four. <laughs> you don't remember that one? I know, I love the, I love it when Bafu surprises me too. That's still working. Let's make sure it can still flip back. If I do flip X zero, that it doesn't flip X. Yes, definitely. Definitely, Jonah. Show us. Okay, cool. So he's not flip X that time. Nice. That's still confirmed working. So your dissertation is a game, right? Play. Yes, thanks for sharing a GIF. Dude, this looks cool. Are those spiders? Dude, good job. I love the low poly art. It's like a tower defense game and you can build stuff and you got an economy. Jonah, this is looking dope, man. Seriously.
Yeah, man, seriously. Good job, Jonah. You could sell that. I mean, you know, give that a few months more of work and you could be that you could have a you could have a definitely a, 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 a game worth putting on Steam. Okay, good. We got flip X, flip Y. No problem. Back. Okay, I'm only going to stream for maybe like 15 more minutes. I'll finish up this data conversion here. 1, 2, negative 50. I think, oh, this entity needed to be... I think it was a little further down, a little more to the right. That will have an adaptive AI. Sweet. So how does the AI adapt? Okay, one more pixel to the right, two pixels or so up. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's make sure this still works too. If I go, oh, I can't equip the top hat. I already, cra oh, I already crafted the top hat. Let's uncraft the top hat. So how does the AI adapt itself? Like if you're playing in a certain way or you start doing some things, it gets better at or changes its strategy, changes its AI or something. Okay, that that item place still works. Narmis, what's up? Narmis! What's up, Narmis and, and crew? Yo! Yo, yo, yo! What's up, man? What's up? Everybody, Narmis is my good longtime friend. We've known each other for what? 15 years now? Shit, I don't know. How you been, Narmis? What's up? I saw you were playing something at uh, Subnautica earlier, right? Cool, so both those little item positions work just fine. Love you, man. Yeah. I'll show you something cool. If this works. Wait, this might not work. I'll show you this lightning boss. Let's see if I can beat her one last time. This is a really hard boss. This is, this is boss number 9 of 10, basically. She's tough as hell. I'm working on this, this, uh, this is Songbringer, the game is called Songbringer, and I'm working on this Songbringer ship dungeon. Subnautica. Cool. Um, did you, I saw you playing No Man's Sky the other day, too. How do you like No Man's Sky? Is it, is it like the reviews say, or do you have a different opinion? Okay, so I'm about to fight this boss. This is a really hard boss. I've lost like eight out of ten times. Let's see if this works. I gotta like really focus and make sure I don't. I gotta get this, uh. I need to use the flask at just the right time, basically. I 
it's gonna be awesome after one update one. Okay. Oh, see, I died already. <laughs> yeah, it's getting better. This boss is uh still really hard. I gotta I gotta make this boss a little bit easier, I think, because so easy to die. So what uh are they gonna I thought they already released an update. Maybe they haven't released an update. Sword as fast as you can. Eat a cactus. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm probably going to be done streaming by the time you're done with dinner. So have a good dinner, dude. Thanks for stopping by. It's good seeing you. And um, as always, make her spawn in all the previous bosses. <laughs> Boogie always wants to find a way to like troll. Make it as troll as possible. I love you. I love your attitude, Boogie. I love it. Like, I want the most challenge, I want all the achievements. PC specs, they're not very good. I have a Mac laptop, so it's not like I'm running on a gaming laptop or gaming hardware or anything. This is a pretty, uh, it's not a very resource intensive game. You can tell it's 2D. Yeah, 244 points, that's a lot of, that's a lot of free bark. Oh shit, I'm already dead again. I gotta fix this bug. That's the big problem here. Is there's some bug where you just die almost instantly. It's like if you land on the super bomb or something, you just die. used to be a Windows user, but when I switched to Mac, so I was like, ah, I'm never going to switch back. <laughs> it's a desk. That's a feature. It's definitely a feature. Alright, so yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today's stream. Got a lot, um, a lot accomplished, though, in just the last two hours. All these little new enemies for this Songbringer dungeon. Um, the boss is a little bit better. Um, now I'm working on the features for, like, when you, um, the actual Songbringer ship how you get into the Songbringer dungeon, you know, what triggers it, the story elements inside it. So, um, yeah, tomorrow I'll be releasing an update, so there'll be an update on Steam for the, the beta version of Songbringer, and then, uh, then the rest of the weekend I'm packing for Burning Man and I'll be gone next week, so it was good seeing you guys all one last time before, um, before Burning Man. You're playing the beta right now? Nice. After I beat level 6, we'll dive back in a few minutes. You found the secret in the bushes? Nice, man. Right on. So, yeah, everybody, thank you for watching. And um, thanks for all your support. And I appreciate you all. And I'll see you, um, see you in about two weeks. So, cheers, everybody. Have a good one.